The derivative of the revenue function as a function of Q is one of the most important concepts in microeconomics. We name this derivative the marginal revenue, and we think of it as the increase in revenue when the quantity is increased by one unit. Let's rephrase the relationship between the derivative of the revenue function as a function of Q and the elasticity in terms of marginal revenue. So marginal revenue is zero if and only if demand is unit elastic at the particular quantity. Marginal revenue is strictly positive if and only if demand is elastic at the particular quantity. Increasing Q when demand is elastic will increase revenue. For example, for a linear demand function, marginal revenue is strictly positive in the upper left area of the demand curve, the rubber band region of the demand curve. Marginal revenue is strictly negative if and only if demand is inelastic. An increase in quantity will decrease revenue when demand is inelastic. For a linear demand function, marginal revenue is strictly less than zero in the lower right stiff region of the demand curve. Here is another simple example. Say that the demand function is given by some constant divided by price with the inverse demand function P equal to C divided by Q. We have seen that the price elasticity of demand is equal to minus one for all prices and quantities on the demand curve in this case. The revenue function as a function of Q is C divided by Q times Q, which is equal to the constant C, and the marginal revenue is equal to zero for all quantities. This is all consistent with the second bullet point. Marginal revenue is equal to zero if and only if demand is unit elastic. Let's have a look at the marginal revenue for a general linear demand function. The demand function is given by Q equal to A minus B times P, and the inverse demand function by P equal to A over B minus Q over B. The demand curve has intercept A over B and intersects the Q axis at Q equal to A. To get the revenue function as a function of Q, we multiply the inverse demand function by Q, and we have R of Q equal to AQ over B minus Q squared over B. The marginal revenue is the derivative of this function, A over B minus two times Q over B. I have written MR as a function of Q, just to remind ourselves that the marginal revenue depends on quantity. The marginal revenue function has an intercept A over B and a slope which is twice as big as the slope of the demand curve. Therefore, MR will intersect the Q axis at Q equal to A over two. Marginal revenue is zero when Q is equal to half of its maximum value. The price elasticity of the amount is equal to minus one at this quantity. When Q is less than A over two, the marginal revenue is strictly positive and at these quantities, demand is elastic. Finally, the marginal revenue is strictly less than zero when Q is greater than A over two. And here, the absolute value of epsilon is strictly less than one and demand is inelastic. Marginal revenue is positive in the rubber band region and negative in the stiff region.